Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. I'm glad you're here. Either way, um, you're seeing a little sneak peek of me cleaning and organizing. That's what's going to be going on in this video, and decluttering, of course. Um, if you are new, I'll introduce myself here in a minute, but I just wanted to say hello, tell you what's going to go on in the video. You're about to see um, a disaster of before. There you go. I think in my head, when I know I'm going to be cleaning, like a major clean of something, I kind of throw my hands up <laughs> for those few days and just let it go. I mean, that's probably really bad, but it is what it is. It's a disaster. Things were just thrown in and I needed to really declutter and clean. As you can see, some of it already is in organized um, bins, but you know, just needs a little reorganizing every now and then. So I'm going to take you guys along with me and hopefully this gives you a little motivation, maybe some ideas for yourself if you need to organize your bathroom. So let's get into the video. So I was trying to show you the dust that had accumulated on those shelves, but speaking of those shelves, those are by far one of my favorite tips for organizing a bunch of different products if you have some wall, wall space. I got these off Amazon, they're extremely sturdy, those products are heavy and they hold them up great. Nothing has come loose or fallen or anything, so I highly recommend those. Um, I'll try to leave the link for them in the description box below. But I'm just um, decluttering everything off of the counters, throwing away the trash, and getting everything kind of cleared away so that I can start going through these drawers and decluttering them, throwing things away that I don't use or are expired, and then wiping them down. So as I'm going through these products, just getting rid of some, deciding what I want to keep, I just thought I would introduce myself to anyone who is new here. My name is Olivia. I am a mom to three kiddos, nine, seven, and three. And I've been married for 14 years to my husband who is a math teacher. He's also a college basketball official. Um, I am a former third grade teacher turned stay-at-home mom, um, gosh, what is that, nine years ago? And I, um, shortly after that, I started an Etsy shop and that helped supplement our income a bit. And um, let's see, what else? We are from Texas, not sure if I mentioned that, the North Texas area. And yeah, I have my YouTube channel here where I um, share mostly cleaning, a few, um, you know, lifestyle stuff, but mostly cleaning, and that's actually gonna get a little bit more intense here in the next couple of months. Um, but yeah, I would love to know where you're watching from, and if you're a mom as well, what do you do? Do you stay at home with your kids and watch them full time? Do you work at home? Do you work outside the home? Would love to know, I'm always curious about what other mamas do, and um, I hope you guys are enjoying. I'm gonna try to get out these stains with the pink stuff which usually works on everything, but it did not on this. So not, not really great. I mean, it got a little bit up, but didn't really work super great. So we're just gonna move on and <laughs> wipe it down and get on with reorganizing.
on driving, we just do what we wanna do. So as you can probably tell, this is my makeup drawer. I do have my toothbrush and some deodorant in this drawer because I access this one the most. But basically it's all makeup and I'm trying to organize it according to like, you know, stuff I put on my face, what goes on my eyes, um, and then like mascaras and eyeliners and things like that. Um, this has worked well for me in the past, this kind of organizing system for my makeup. I am pretty boring with my makeup. I don't think I have a lot of products, I'm not really sure. Um, you guys can tell me, but I definitely make up for it in hair products, which you guys will see later. But this drawer stays pretty neat and organized because I have a place for everything. I think that's key when organizing. If you have a place for everything, you know, it can stay organized for the most part. I'm just having to go through it every once in a while and declutter. But yeah, we'll get into the next couple drawers, which are going to be hair. So this drawer is pretty much all my hair products, like rubber bands, brushes, um, clips, and then like hair bands to keep my hair out of my face when I shower or wash my face and then that square box is a jewelry box I actually end up replacing this with something I'll show you guys in the after um, I really just have earrings for the most part that's kind of the only jewelry I wear um, but I do replace it and I love what I got there is a blue big blue stain as you can see um, I cannot get that up um, for the life of me so it doesn't really matter it's covered up anyway but I'm just gonna vacuum up all the hair clean it and then I'm not sure what happened to my footage but it doesn't show me like organizing it and putting everything back in um, but you get to see kind of like the after so then we'll head on to the bottom drawer that has a ton of my hair tools So this is where I keep all of my hair tools that I use to straighten or curl my hair and dry my hair. Like I mentioned, I have kind of high maintenance hair, so it, you know, I do have curly hair, but I like to straighten it a ton, actually most of the time. So I have quite a bit of products. Um, so we're just gonna get these organized, put them in a couple of bins so that they're a little bit more, you know, secure in a place rather than just thrown in the drawer. I also keep some that travel bags that I use of course when I travel so we're just gonna vacuum out the drawer and clean it like we did before and then organize my tools Oh, yeah. 
Yes, I am in a different outfit, but it is a different day, so it's, I didn't change outfits throughout the day. Um, but I'm just going to go through the products that are on these shelves. Um, they've been on there for quite a while. There are a bunch of Monate products. Um, I used to sell Monate, and so I have a ton of products that came with like my package. I don't sell it anymore, but I still do use some of the products. So I'm just going to organize them, clean, wipe down and clean these shelves because they definitely needed it. They don't show a ton of dirt, like dust and stuff, which is great um, if you don't clean a lot. <laughs> but they definitely do need a wipe down every now and then. So on the bottom, I have my all my facial stuff. Um, everything I use in the evening and everything I use in the morning is on that bottom shelf. So it's just my face. And then on the top... Um, the top two is going to be just various hair products that I use. Now we are moving down to the bottom portion of my sink where I have some more storage. I bought these little organizers, I believe on Amazon. I'll link them below if that's where I got them. Um, they're pretty sturdy, I like them. I wanted something vertical because I wanted to you know, utilize the vertical space in my sink. Um, since it wasn't super wide, I wanted to make sure to use like all of the space. So I'm just gonna vacuum out um, everything on this side, wipe it down and then declutter the products and put them back into the organizers. I'll explain what's in each one when I fill them. Okay, so in the top drawer here, I keep all of my self-tanning products. I love self-tanning. Um, I have a ton of different products, mitts, all that. So I'm going through them because there are definitely ones that I do not like, including this spray from, I think it was St. Tropez. Absolutely terrible. Don't get it. That Neutrogena Micro Mist, though, definitely get. I use it for my hands and feet because I can't wipe on my self-tanner very well on my hands and feet, so it helps a ton. My favorite is the Loving Tan. Um, it's that pink bottle in the front. That is by far my favorite one. Um, I do also use St. Tropez, the foam, um, but I prefer Loving Tan. And then I just have the Loving Tan Mitt. So all that is in the top drawer. And then I just have various beauty products like bath salts and um, like bubble stuff and all that, bath bombs, that is in that drawer. It's kind of a miscellaneous um, product drawer. And then on the other side, I'm doing the same thing, um, but this time I'm gonna put all of my nail stuff. I'm, I love doing my nails. I will always have my nails done. If I don't, something is wrong with me. Ask if I need help because my nails are always done. Right now I have on the, the dip, the powder, so I don't have to paint my nails, but otherwise, if I don't go to the nail salon, I have my nails painted. So I have all sorts of nail stuff, um, the whole shebang. So that I'm gonna put in the top um, drawer. So I'm actually gonna switch it, and then on the bottom, I believe I have some just more random, um, random products.
about that much Cause if you want somebody else, who am I to judge? I've been thinking about you all the time, but that's alright I'm starting to get used to it, think I'll survive I met you in the summer, when you left it was cold Said we loved one another I added a little Lazy Susan to the middle of this, which I absolutely love. I put some products in there that I don't use too often, but wanted to keep, um, it's, which is great because I can turn it and access them if I need them. And everything is organized on the right. I love it. I'm just gonna refill some of my jars that I, I use these daily, so that's why I keep them on the counter. I just put them in some mason jars to make them look a little bit prettier. Um, just Q-tips, facial, those little facial pads, and then cotton balls. Um, so I just refilled that and now I'm going to show you how I clean my makeup brushes. I thought if I'm cleaning, might as well show you how I clean my makeup brushes because this is by far the easiest and best way to clean makeup brushes in my opinion. I just use a tiny squirt of my facial cleanser. Um, you can use shampoo too. And then I just rub the brush on this little, I guess it's like a rubber cleaning pad it's for makeup brushes I'll link it below if I can find it again I probably got it on Amazon but as you can see all the makeup is just coming right off into um, the little rubber pad and I'm just rinsing it off until it comes out clear and then I'll show you how I dry the brushes so you can literally use them within like seconds after you dry them you know how sometimes you'll have to lay out your brushes and let them dry overnight but this little tool that I got um, helps them dry like it dries them instantly it's really cool so I can't remember where I got it I'm gonna have to find where I bought it I bought it several years ago um, and it actually comes with like a little bowl that you're supposed to clean the brushes in but I didn't like it I liked this method better so this is how I clean it and then I'll show you how I dry it Okay, so this is the dryer that I was telling you guys about. It comes with several different rubber um, like holders for your brushes, depending on the brush size, and you just stick it onto this little this battery operated spinner, and it just spins all the water out of it. It's amazing. I'm I'm trying to feel if any water is coming off. Um, that's how I know it's dry, but I put I do face it down into the sink because little specks of water will come off as you're spinning it. But oh my gosh, it takes like less than a minute maybe depending on how big your brush is I definitely sped this up but it dries them so fast you're able to either use them if you want to use them right away or put them back in your uh, wherever you store them without you know fear of them like getting moldy or anything like that with like wet bristles so it is awesome I hope I can find the link to it um, so I'll link it below but let me know if you guys have used something similar to this or how you dry your brushes um, I just love this it's, it's so awesome Okay, now that everything is organized in my sink, I'm just going to give everything a good wipe down, clean the mirrors, 
clean the cabinets and I will show you guys kind of the final look of how everything is organized. And voila, a clean, organized sink. Just ignore whatever's in the background of the mirror. But it is so refreshing to have it clean and organized. Everything has a, a place, which I love. It helps me stay organized. Um, I will show you guys a little um, update of the jewelry box that I have in that middle drawer so you can see that and how I organize my jewelry. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will keep showing clips of the after so you guys can see. But I hope you found some motivation from it. And I would love if you subscribed to my channel. Um, come join me over on Instagram too. I share a lot more um, in that space. And I hope you guys have a great day and get to organizing. I'm not broken, not broken, not broken